Good morning, everyone. On behalf of NASDAQ, I'm pleased to welcome FS Bank Corp to NASDAQ for the opening bell. And with that, I'd like to introduce your host, Joe Brantock, NASDAQ Vice President. All right. I have to applaud you already. I know it's only Monday morning, but I definitely feel the energy, so this is great. So certainly, good morning, everyone. All right, it is truly my great pleasure to welcome FS Bancorp and its CEO, jo uh, Joe Adams, and its CFO, Matt Mullet, to the NASDAQ market site. Now, I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to members of the board uh, management team, employees, and frankly, to all our distinguished guests. We are truly, truly excited that you could all join us right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to ring today's opening bell. Now, there is certainly a lot to celebrate this morning. And not only was 2018 your best year ever financially, but you also completed your first whole bank transaction with the purchase of Anchor Bank in November of 2018. These are both two significant milestones. We're certainly sh uh, thrilled to share with you today, and I think that deserves a big, big round of applause. What do you guys say? It's almost like you guys know the secret, but the secret here is the louder that we clap and cheer, the higher the market goes up. So I think you guys already got that message. FS Bank Corp and its subsidiary, First Security Bank's headquarters, are just north of Seattle in Mount Lake Terrace, Washington. The bank and its predecessors have served businesses and individuals in Western Washington for more than 100 years. And you have been part of the NASDAQ for almost seven years, and what a run it has been. You started in 2012 with $283 million in assets, and today your assets are over $1.6 billion. Yeah, let's get There you go. And not only if that was impressive, what's really, really impressive is the accomplishment of your stock price, which has increased over 400% in less than seven years. We got it. We got it. So your outstanding financial performance also resulted in a number of awards, including the 100 Best Performing Community Banks on a $3 billion by the S&P Global for 2018 and the inclusion in the Russell 3000 in June of 2018. And it is also clear that you are passionate about your company's culture and communities you serve. You have won numerous awards both locally and nationally. In 2017, you won the ABA Foundation Community Commitment Award, honoring your work with the IF Project. In 2017 and 2018, you were included in the American Bankers Magazine Best Bank to Work For uh, rankings, and these awards are certainly you should all be very, very proud of. So Joe and Matt, let's get it, let's get it. I saw that, I saw that. So Joe and Matt, congratulations on your continued success. We are certainly looking forward to uh, celebrating many more milestones with FS Bank Corp. And we are just delighted to share today's opening bell with you all. And now, please join me in welcoming Joe and Matt to the podium. Come on up, guys. Joe, thank you so much. Thank you, NASDAQ. This is amazing to be here. Also, I want to thank everybody in the room. We've got board members, management, uh, teammates, uh, friends and family. It's just, it's just great. Uh, what a great city to, to celebrate this in. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got this handsome devil next to me on my right. Um, without our CFO, Matt Mullet, honestly, we would not be here today. Uh, he joined us in 2011. Um, he, he is not only a great numbers guy, but he's a great people person. People love going, he's got an open door policy. He's, I'm gonna get him to blush here in a second. He, uh, he's open door policy, he loves working with our teams, loves helping them understand how the financial aspects work. 
But in 2011, when he joined us, we were also doing a lot of culture work. We were trying to figure out who we wanted to be when we grew up, and he got that. He understood the value of that. And thankfully, at that point in time, we had actually turned that work over to Vicki Jarman, who is now our head of human resources. Vicki and team, Mia Makanui, Sarah Lafon, spent a lot of time doing research and trying to figure out what was working out there and what would work for us. Um, and what was great about that is they, they, it was a collaborative effort. They brought things back to the board and to the management team and ultimately came up with a vision statement, which I love. It's to build a truly great place to work and bank. And we know if you build a great place to work, it's going to be a great place to bank. And people often say, you know, what's the secret? How do you do it? I say three words. We say three words. Smart, driven, nice. If you hire smart, driven, nice people, good things happen. Uh, there's a lot of smart, driven people in the finance world, but not always that nice. And uh, thankfully, we have a lot of smart, driven, nice people. So uh, there are people that worry about those kind of concepts, and, um, and they're a little soft. But if you look at our numbers, guess what? They, they play out. So that's it. In a nutshell, that's who we are. Uh, thank you very much again, NASDAQ. And I do want to thank this smart, driven, nice CFO one more time. Really appreciate it. Um, first of all, thank you for your trust and partnership in NASDAQ. We can't think of a better way to celebrate all your successes than having you and your entire team here this morning to ring today's opening bell. And to commemorate that, I would like to present you with the opening bell, Crystal. Congratulations. Nice.